Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Yes. You know, <laughs> you know how I always talk about one of my pet peeves is old guys with ponytails. Yeah. <laughs> and then they wear a hat and it's, right. stick it out through the opening in the back yeah. of the hat. Uh, why do you think the hat is that's, there? That's a good look. They can't grow the hair here, so they. <laughs> I still want to be manly. I'll grow it out the back. Well, I have to add to that list now of ponytails, man buns. It's man buns have got to stop. <laughs> yes. You, you people, I'm talking to you. Stop. Today on the show, a story about man buns. On today's show, a man named Sid Owered claims that he was fired from British Airways because of his man bun. Could have been also because of his unpronounceable last name. The New York Post reported that Owered, 26, said that he was discriminated against because by the company because of the hairstyle he wore during the first week of training for his job as a customer service representative. Oh, my God. Now, is that on the phone? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Probably right. not, yeah, or they would have just let it slide. Right. Uh, he says, I got fired from British Airways because I have a man bun, which, Good. according to them, doesn't comply with their uniform policy. Uh, or Red said, the fact that they dismiss me for being a man with long hair is ridiculous and sexist. They have discriminated against me. Oh. Well, first of all, if it if they have a, a uniform or grooming policy and you're in violation of it, uh, you got no grounds to, to bitch. No, if they have it in place. Right. Ahead of time. Right. The airline company declined comment on his allegations. Whose allegations? Or Ed, who is from <laughs> London, asserted that he would not have been fired if he were a woman. Right now, we live in multicultural Britain. We live in the age of equality, and we should be open-minded. But this stuffy old airline won't allow me to have my hair as I like it. Wah, wah, wah. I'm a victim and everything else I'm supposed to say. You know what? It is one of the most ridiculous hairstyles. I got to tell you, I was a, even a fan of the mullet when it was around. I had one. I could show you a picture, I think. The mullet was fine, and Billy Ray Cyrus rocked it like nobody else. To be sure. Uh, and Mark Gastineau. Oh, yeah, from the New York Jets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those dudes knew how to rock a mullet. And it looked like, they looked like freaking Samson. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. It was, uh, as we look back now, it was ridiculous a little bit. To be sure, yeah. But those guys pulled it off. I don't think anybody can pull off a man bun. I don't care if you're a rapper or a basketball player, and I, I do see basketball players wearing man buns. I don't think you can pull it off. It's it's simply not pull-offable. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new word, Ronnie. Pull-offable. Nice. It sounds like falafel. <laughs> pull-offable. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Here, it, it's very simple. If you put it up to a vote, women are going to hate it. Women hate man buns. In fact, we have a story about that. Uh, it turns out over the years, men have embraced many questionable styles. The mullet, the Caesar, the swept to the side Justin Bieber. And now, that sounded a little uh, Dr. Uh, Susie. <laughs> and now, bit. despite the fact that women hate it, they're having a bromance with the man bun. Yeah, it turns out uh, Michigan ranks eighth in the nation when it comes to the popularity of the man bun. That's a distinction I'm pretty sure they're proud of. Oh, yeah, it's on their welcome to <laughs> Detroit. Yeah. Uh, one hip, uh, our, our hip and uh, multi millennial guys who are mostly in their 20s and 30s seem especially fond of the hairstyle. Perhaps it represents a certain youthful uh, kind of a vibe or maybe other guys avoid it because they don't have enough hair to twist to pull it off, basically. Uh, I'm really not surprised. This is from a Michigan article, actually, a newspaper there. I'm really not surprised Michigan is so high on the list. A 20-something man I stopped in the epicenter of hipness that is downtown Detroit said, his own bun high and tight atop his head. The man bun is sleeker 
and more manageable than a ponytail, he said. Plus, it's super practical because he works in a restaurant and needs to keep hair out of the food. I get that. Okay. But, uh, well, here's, here's the, the, the biggest part of it. Uh, the, there's trouble in man bun paradise because women cannot stand the hairstyle. This is my point. That, literally, they cannot stand it. Uh, West, what, West Coast Shaving, the same men's grooming company that analyzed George, uh, sorry, Google Trends, data determined there was there's the most interest in updos. Updos. By the way, Oklahoma ranked first. Wow. Also surveyed 1,000 women about hair trends. Here are the results. 63% of women surveyed either dislike or hate the man bun. 58% they wouldn't date a man with a bun. 74% said their current or past significant other would not look attractive with a man bun. You would, Ronnie. I, I could pull it off. I know you could. I could pull it off. Once men learn of these results, will they ditch the man bun? Hmm. My guy on the street said he is not swayed by any anti-man bun sentiment. A lot of people think things are stupid, he said. They can think whatever they want. What do you think? Hmm. What do you think? I much prefer a man with a Cinnabon. I could definitely go for that. Yes. Um, it would be a good idea to put <laughs> not a... Not on your head, though. No. <laughs> put a Cinnabon shop next to a barber shop. <laughs> two, two, uh, two birds, one stone there. there. You, <laughs> uh, you know, really, people... Look. People are going to perceive, perceive you right off the bat. It's like when you wear purple hair or green hair yeah. or your computer completely just shut down. Rut row. It's all right. We'll be fine. Um, you, you look like an idiot. And here's the thing. Why did you do it in the first place? If you dyed your hair purple, aren't you just basically telling people, hey, look at me. I'm right. different. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you're trying to accomplish with a man bun? I will never forget. We went to eat at Cheesecake Factory one night, and we haven't been there in a long time. In fact, we haven't been there since, and maybe I'm traumatized by it. But there was a guy in his 30s, early 30s, I'm guessing, wearing capri pants. What? Wearing capri pants, white ones, no less. Jennifer Aniston in capri pants, I can understand. She can pull them off. She can pull off almost anything. In fact, I wish she would pull them off. Yeah. Uh, or let me. <laughs> But a man wearing capri pants uh, is, that's quirky. That's, that's way too different. And again, it's about, hey, look at me. I'm, I'm fashion forward. I, I saw it in a, a magazine somewhere, and so here I am. Yep. What, what flies in New York City? doesn't fly in about 95% of the rest of the <laughs> Well, United I States. understand, but factually, Oklahomans... True. I mean, that's as far from New York City as you can get. That is the polar opposite. New York City, get a rope. Get a rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think it's safe to say, and hopefully, how long did the mullet last? The mullet probably lasted a good five years, right? I was going to say a couple years, yeah, like three, so for sure. Hopefully, we're on the, the downslope side of the man bun, and they'll be gone soon. It's the most ridiculous thing, and... I I really I can't I can't think of a single person that I've seen that looks good in one. I, I you know what I'm gonna start growing my hair out. You know what? Do it the do the uh, Pete Rose Prince Charming. Oh okay. yeah. Oh, you know I read another article on man buns. Did you know that you can now buy a man bun oh. and it's a clip on. Nice. Maybe that's what I'll do. That would, that's on you. Yeah. 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 yeah I could pull it good. off. Sure. Yeah. I could probably, I have a tiny little bald stop spot up here. So I won't be able to well, clip it. Well, you say tiny. But I could, I could like super glue it back yeah, there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it's in the perfect spot for a man. Velcro. Man. Nice. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yep. All right. So uh, it is the opinion of both men on Men Are So Smart that there really is no place for man buns. I know you're a millennial and you like to do things your own way, but again, perception 
means a lot. If you're looking for work, right, it may prohibit you from getting a job. You may as well have a face tattoo. Uh, you know what? If you're if you're going to put it out there that way, right, you're going to have a man bun, or you're going to have a ponytail, or you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of tattoos, be they on your face or uh, elsewhere. The fact is, at some point, you are going to be perceived and evaluated by an employer. I don't think Mike Tyson has had a job since he got a face tattoo. No, that's true. Yeah. He's been out of work. Yep. Although, I think he did have a stint at the Dairy Queen over there uh, <laughs> in, Cit in Citrus Heights. True, yes. Yeah, he was there for a while. Although, and he may have also filmed The Hangover. In between in be ships. Yeah, 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 yeah. Making milkshakes and right. such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe a, a couple stints, but nothing lasting. All right, we'd like your opinions on the man bun, yes. especially ladies. We'd love to hear from you. Maybe you can substantiate this evidence that we have thrown out there with yep. the, how much women dislike the man bun. Leave your comments below. I assure you that when you leave a comment, provided it is not profane or vulgar, we will get back to you. If it deserves a reply, we will get back to you. I yep. give you my word. We would like to be known as the most approachable guys on YouTube. Yep. Okay? Big and, deal. Um, and, and approachable and appreciative. Yep. Because we appreciate your watching our show. All uh, six of you. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> uh, yeah. And that guy with the man bun YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Subscribe to our show below. We'll see you on the next time on Men Are So Smart. No man bun. Uh, we can cover that up with spray paint. <laughs>